Hello everybody, I'm Kelly Atchison at EstampAbove.com from Menasha, Wisconsin, coming to you from Sarasota, Florida. I'm so excited to be stamping with you tonight. I missed you guys last weekend. So I have some really fun projects tonight. I know you're going to love them. Hi, Linda. I see everybody popping in here. I'm going to give you all just a minute to get on. Um, Steve and I made it to Sarasota on, let's see, what day did we get here? We left, I don't even know. <laughs> I think we got here on the 29th of January. <laughs> I don't even know. It seems like, it seems like a lifetime ago. So we made it. We made a stop in um, Nashville and we stayed there a couple nights because Steve has never been to Nashville. I was able to go to Nashville um, two years ago for Haley's bachelorette party. That's where we went and it was so much fun. I'm not a country music fan at all, like at all. The only song that I really like is, are you ready for this? Drunk on a Plane. <laughs> That's the only one. Hi, Haley. So happy to see you here. So, um, but I really liked Nashville. It was really fun. We had a great time there. Um, we stayed in a really pretty, uh, like, penthouse apartment right on, I think, 3rd Street. So we were really, really close to Broadway. It was just really neat. So I wanted Steve to be there. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Nashville. We were never in Nashville. She's lying. Nashville was fun. It was a really good time. <laughs> we had a good time. Yeah, it was really fun. Did I just see Bob Workout come in here? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Bob. <laughs> good Hi, to Bob. see you. Yeah. I saw your wife's food that she made earlier, and uh, it looked pretty delicious. <laughs> hmm. So, Nashville was fun, right? Yes. Yeah. Had a blast. We had a really good time and there. And we're in Florida, and I golfed two days in a row. Awesome. He's pretty happy. Yeah. Today was a better course than yesterday. Yesterday's course was kind of pretty crummy, but he did really good. Did you do good today? I did okay. Okay. Well, yep. it's better than bad, right? Hi, Ardella. Welcome. I see Mary coming in here. Hi, everybody. Yay. All right. I'm out of here. See you later. <laughs> um, so we went to the Country Music Hall of Fame. That was really fun. And um, we went to Kid Rock's Honky Tonk Bar where we watched live music there. And then I took Steve over to a place called Big Shots where we went when we were here for Haley's um, bachelorette party. Or there, I should say. It was really fun. Then we jumped in the car and we made it to Tallahassee. We weren't like being crazy about the driving. Like we didn't want to get here in two days. It was We're just meandering along to Florida. And... Um, we stayed in Tallahassee. We had a really nice hotel there for really inexpensive. So if anybody needs a place in Tallahassee, I'll let me know. Dirk Spentley, Drunk on a Plane. Yeah, that's my favorite song. I just get a big kick out of it. <laughs> um, but we stayed overnight in Tallahassee. That's all we did. We went to eat supper, went back to our hotel, slept, got up, and then made it the rest of the way here to Sarasota. Our condo is so pretty. It's just so pretty. I feel like I'm living someplace very fancy. And if you guys have seen my house, it's not fancy, right? <laughs> so this feels like really elegant and gorgeous. And I don't know what the temperature is outside right now, but it's 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 decent out. Um, it it hasn't been real warm. We went to the beach a couple days since we've been here. We went shark tooth searching is that what they call it we there's just tons of shells on this beach and you they have these basket things and you scoop up the shells and then you rinse them in the water and then you pour them out on a screen thing and pick through all the shells to find the shark teeth that's really cool so i think we found like gosh i can't remember if it was like 50 shark teeth that day i don't remember anyways it was pretty cool and what else um I did a little bit of work. I didn't do a little bit of work. I did a lot of work yesterday. I have a class with the Grassy Grove um, bundle. And so yesterday I was out on the 
lanai. That's what they call the screened-in patios and in it, it like down here in the south. I don't know why. It's kind of fancy, right? Maybe that's why, because it's kind of fancy. I was out in the lanai shooting videos for my class, and then when I went to edit all my videos, it's kind of noisy out there, and I didn't realize it. There's a, um, a fountain in the pond right there, so that made noise, and then there's a road over there that's pretty busy, and we heard a, I heard a lot of traffic from that, so ugh. it's like I hope nobody minds all the kind of I, I, I minimize the noise on my video because I do a lot of editing with my videos. So I hope it'll be okay. But anyways, I got that class done. We'll talk about that later. We're going to make a card with the grassy grove. And then I have like the coolest fun fold ever. You guys are going to love it. It's so much fun. Um, I do have one. I have mail. One piece of mail came before I left and I grabbed it and brought it with me. So I'm going to share that right now. This is from Kathy Finley. Look at how cute this is. This was one of our paper pumpkin kits from a while back. And um, cute, cute, cute. And Kathy was thanking me for the happy mail that I sent her. She is one of my team member members. And um, yeah, very cute. Thank you so much, Kathy. I love your card. Uh, John update. Well, since we're here now, we really don't have any John updates. Nothing happened with John before we left. And so I'm thinking I need to switch that from Florida and give you a Randy and Lucy update. <laughs> Who the heck is that? Hi, Rosie Felons. I'm happy to see you. Um, Randy and Lucy live upstairs. And I think they're from Indiana. I'll have to double check that with Steve. Steve went golfing with him yesterday, I think. I don't know. Anyway, super nice people. Um, Randy and his wife, and then they have a dog named Lucy, and she's a big black lab, and she is the sweetest dog. I can't wait for Val to meet her, because Val is just going to love her. And I was watching him out here in the pond today. He, um, She has to chase the balls. She she loves to chase the balls. So he was throwing them out in the water and she is so well trained. He will make her sit. He'll throw the ball and then he'll tell her to go and it's just very cool. So I think I'll be giving you Randy and Lucy updates while we're here. <laughs> Something fun to look forward to, right? I also wanted to remind you guys um, the accordion card that I made in my last Facebook Live, which would have been... The 30th? No, was it? I think it was the 30th last weekend. I thought I missed last weekend. I don't know. I'm so confused. Anyways, we made an accordion birthday card, and it was the coolest thing. So I put a challenge up on my Facebook page. If you guys want to just scroll on my Facebook page and look for that, add your pictures in there. We want to see your accordion cards. It's so fun to share all the different ideas. <laughs> Kathy Miller... Kathy Miller just came on and she was over at my house tonight picking up a couple kits that people ordered and getting a few things from me. Bless her heart. And um, she told me that Fred has not started on my upstairs. Um, my handyman, Fred, is supposed to be redoing the hallway and the staircase. And then our whole upstairs will be remodeled. He hasn't even started yet. So I need to get in touch with him because he was supposed to start last Monday. Yeah. I don't know what happened there. Um, anyways, I'm looking at my calendar because I'm so confused about what date it is. <laughs> Anywho, um, so Kathy was over at my house picking up a couple kits and she just told me that there was no anything going on at John's house tonight. <laughs> Thank you, Kathy. That's super funny. Um, oh, and Barbara says, thanks for reminding me about the challenge. She totally forgot about it. It's on there, Barbara. We would love to see what you're making. I'm just looking through my comments here, you guys, because I know that I'm missing some. Um, Nikki said that Lucy is her kind of dog. I did bring my crown, you guys. I have to bring my crown, right? So I had way more room in my Explorer. I could have packed so much more stuff. Oh, did Haley just say something about Val? I thought I saw something about Granny. Um, yeah, I don't think my 
<laughs> my message is Val loses her mind anytime I try to walk away with my phone and she has to see her granny. I know, she's so funny. Hi, Valerie, granny loves you. <laughs> Val is quite the little techno wizard with the phone. It's pretty amusing. Um, I've been FaceTiming with Haley and Jared and Val and every time it's time to hang up, Haley will give the phone to Val because she knows exactly what to do. And she goes, so I love you. Then she, she does this. She's talking more, but not a ton. So she does all the little, yeah, it's really cute. <laughs> so um, don't forget to put the accordion card challenge. Oh, another thing that I brought with me, you guys, is my beautiful little unicorn. Oops, let me get the thing out of the way. Yeah, that travels with me. When I go someplace, things come along. So I got myself all set up here. Maybe when we go to change the phone around, I will flip it over here so you can see what I'm doing. I've got pretty stuff behind me. I've got a beautiful picture up there, but you can't really see it because my stand. I've got all my stuff stored over there so it's not junking the place up, right? And I've got my die cutting machine in the kitchen. All my papers over there. My printer came yesterday. Um, let's see. My digital scale arrived today. So I'm thinking Steve and I will just stay here down in Florida and we'll start running drugs. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> digital scale, get it? No, I need this for shipping out packages. So I think what we should do is award prizes from my last Facebook Live. And I have for commenting, there's three ways for you to win when you watch me. And um, whether you're watching live or later, make sure. Prizes. Get out of here. Yeah. This is this is serious business. Oh, I'm sorry. Not really. Get out. <laughs> we have three ways to win. Comment and you get a prize share this video and right now on your screen there's some place that you can click on share and share the video for me and that really really helps me grow my business and i so appreciate that and then also everyone who places an order there's a drawing for that too so whether you're watching now live later after i'm done being live oh everybody's saying hi see you <laughs> after i'm done being live or um when you're watching on youtube Click on that share. Click on that bell. You'll get notifications when I go live. Give me a thumbs up. If you guys click that like, that, that thumbs up right now, that's helpful. All the things are very helpful. So let's get back to this. He distracted me. <laughs> um, Karen Goltz from Janesville, Minnesota. These are on their way to you from Sarasota, Florida. We've got the beautiful... Um, Polished dots. These are absolutely gorgeous. I love these and you're going to love them too. So that's for commenting on my last Facebook Live. Do, do, do. Send Wisconsin some sunshine. Ann says, well, we didn't really have sunshine here. The sun poked out a little bit today, but not too much. Um, I'll try. I'll do what I can, Ann. I can't make any promises, of course. <laughs> For sharing my video last week, I have the Abstract Beauty Ephemera Pack. And oh my goodness, these are so fun to play with. This is going out to Lanny Rhodes of, oh, and I thought this was funny, Port Charlotte, Florida. So Lanny Rhodes, these are on their way to you tomorrow. Congratulations, and that was for sharing my video. And then we have mischievous mice this is a host exclusive set you can only get this when you have a party or place an order over 150 dollars with your stamp and rewards so for placing an order in the last week everybody goes into a drawing and lynn barnhart from hilliard florida this is on its way to you and isn't that funny that i had two winners from florida tonight while i'm in florida I thought that was very cool. So, um, congratulations to all the winners. Thank you guys so much for being always being good sports about that. Of course, um, I know it's greatly appreciated. Let's see. This coming week, 
I have a blog hop on Thursday. We are going to be making slimline cards. So everybody in the blog hop is going to be making slimline cards. Those are the tall cards. Very, very fun. You're going to love it. So watch for that. I was working on that after I got ready for my cards that I'm going to show you tonight. So I was working on that. I have a really cool design coming up in my head. Um, also, classes. My online class with Barb and Dina uses the Hello Beautiful. And I wanted to make sure that you know about that. It's that stamp set. Oh, so pretty. It's this one right here. We've got a fun stamp set with these, these really neat octagon dies. This is on page 50 in the new JJ Mini catalog. Here we go. This is it right here. Oh my goodness. We are going to have so much fun with that. That is my online class with Barb and Dina. Um, advertising for that is on my blog, www.astampabove.com. So make sure you check that out. There are three different ways to order. You can order the whole enchilada, which gets you a free online class and a, hang on, I just saw something. I haven't made a slim line yet. Oh, Diana, you gotta try it, it's really fun. Um, option number one gives you all the product and it gets you the free online class plus the pre-cut cardstock pack. Option number two is a kit with some embellishments and I think ribbon and the pre-cut cardstock pack. And option number three is the PDF only. You can get that all by itself. Hang on, I'm gonna, I need to do something here. There we go, my comments stopped. Um, so there's three different ways to get the online class. You do which one is good for you. Then we also have, um, I told you I'm doing the Grassy Grove is my kit class for the month. Oh my goodness. I'm so like impressed with myself because I needed to get this done before I left. And me and my helper, Kathy, we both got everything cut, sorted, packaged, Kathy took all the kits home with her, and um, I will be releasing those on the 13th. So that information to sign up is also on my blog. You can add, we'll talk about that as, when we're making the card. I don't need to talk about that right now. The last thing that I need to tell you about is our virtual spring retreat. Oh, retreats are so much fun. We are gonna have two days jam-packed with all kinds of activities. All these activities are gonna take place on Facebook. It'll be a special private group once you register. If you're, um, if you're not gonna be available the 25th, 26th of March, don't worry, everything is pre-recorded. There are two different ways to sign up for the retreat. You can do online only, or you can do the retreat with a goodie box. The goodie box contains $100 in Stampin' Up! product, fantastic. You have the opportunity to add on any of the stamp sets or bundles we're using for the make and takes. So you're going to make and take packet. There are prizes. There are games. There is probably going to be mystery stamping. There's all kinds of stuff jam packed in two days. So you'll find that information on my blog. There is early bird pricing. If you register by February 28th, you get a $10 discount. So make sure you check that out. Okay. Whew. I think I'm gonna wait until I turn the camera around. We have a new promotion all together going on. And I'll tell you just a little bit about that. I think I got everything on here now. I always make myself a list because you guys know I have a terrible memory. I, yeah, I know. Okay, uh, I think we're ready to stamp. Are you guys ready to stamp? Oh, I'm so excited to be sharing these projects with you. Where's my first basket? Right here. Okay, I think what I'll do is I will get my iPad out of the way. Oh, I said I would show you guys my little setup here. So let's do that. I'm gonna unplug my phone. You guys are so sweet. Thank you for all the love hearts. I love those. I'm going to undo this and pray that I don't mess up things. See this picture? behind me. Oh my goodness. Let me turn my camera around and I will show you guys all the pretties. 
So look at this picture. Isn't it just gorgeous? It's really 3D. Like these are really little fence posts. And the coolest thing is, is that this is real little pebbles and there's glitter in it. So it's just so, so pretty. So here's where we come in the condo. This over here is the kitchen. This is my ink pad storage, card stock down there. I got a new printer yesterday, which I didn't think I needed, but I did. This is my whole setup. This is where I will be coming to you for all my videos and stuff. So that's pretty neat. It, it works out really good. And let's see, this is one of my favorite decorations in here. That clock is from a shop in Nina, Wisconsin, which is so funny, right? Because that's where I'm from, Menasha, Nina, Wisconsin. Look at all the pretties. So here is the, here's the condo. It's a two bedroom condo. And we've got this little sitting area down here. And then of course the lanai out there. And that's where I was shooting my videos, but it was there was a lot of background noise. So ugh, I hope that doesn't make anybody crazy. And then here's all my stuff. There's my boxes that I brought and I could have fit way more in our Explorer. But yeah, this is just so, so pretty. I just feel so very fortunate to be here. And then we've got a bedroom and a bathroom over here. And then another bedroom and bathroom right down here. We've got another bedroom down here. It's super pretty. My cousin did just an amazing job decorating everything. I picked up swimmer diapers and regular diapers for Val. I'm super excited because Val and Jared are coming on Thursday. Here's a bathroom and then that's the laundry room. So there we have it. This is a tour of the whole place. This is my stamping setup. This is where we're gonna be having lots of fun. So yay. Okay, I am going to, and I borrowed Dina's stand for my, for my um, videos, for my phone. So I wanna let you guys know that it's really hard to get it tightened up. So sometimes it'll start like falling. I had Steve tighten it. I hope that'll be sufficient and that'll work. And I just want to kind of make sure that I'm straight here because it's always goofy. If you don't have it straight, you feel like you're lopsided. And then I'm going to plug in again here. So hang tight with me. And I hope that our um, lighting is good because, yeah, there's not much I can do about that, right? Let me push this up just a little bit. There we go. I think we're good. You guys can see more on the screen than I see on my phone, which is really interesting because I'm looking over here at the iPad. It's like, huh, that's weird. Okay, we're good. I think we're good to go. Woohoo! All right, here is the all together um, collection of products. This is available. It started on February 1st through May 2nd. You can get the entire collection, which is a stamp set, designer series paper, five packs of flesh toned blends, light and dark, and also the dyes for $105 or you can order everything individually. You can get the stamp set, you can get the dies, you can get the stamp set with the dies for a little discount. Here's the paper. This paper is black and white. Let me grab it, it's really cool. Hang on just a second. Oh, I have another one at home that I opened up, so I'll just, I grabbed the one that isn't open yet. Make sure I don't stab myself. So this paper is six by six. And look at it, it's black and white. You can color the hands. Who doesn't love black and white paper? You can do so many neat things with it. It's like my favorite. But this is really, really pretty black and white paper. And it's called All Together Six by Six Designer Paper. 
You guys know that when you go into my online store, you can just type in the name of things. So when you type in all together, six inch by six inch, this will pop right up. But that's what's going on with this. And these blends are available to order them all together. So you can use this item code, 160940, for $45, you can get all of them, or you can enter each item code for each one, okay? These blends will continue to be available after this promotion is over May 2nd, but the rest of this stuff will not. So just know that. Very, very cool. Um, yeah, I just want to make sure that I'm telling you the right information. But yeah, lots of lots of lots of fun opportunity here and I love these dyes. You matter and here for you. Those are really sweet. Okay. Let me set that aside. We are going to be using, whoops, let's put it right side up. The New Horizons 6x6 designer series paper. And I am going to bring in the Grove dies. These are really, really neat. Let me show, I'm gonna grab this. This is what I'm using for my kit class this month is the Grassy Grove bundle. And it is on page 47. Here we go, this one right here. And I just really thought that the, they used some of this paper, the New Horizons paper with the samples here. So I put that together in the kit. So if you don't have the stamp set and the dies, you can add those on. And when you do that, it's $67.50 to add this bundle on. That includes tax and shipping. So you'll get, you'll get no additional fees there. The kit also includes a whole pack of this paper, eight envelopes. We are going to give you a roll of this beautiful denim ribbon, a package of the pebbles enamel shapes, which are really cool and they go really good with the grassy grove, as well as a roll of linen thread. You're gonna get pre-cut card stock for eight cards. There's four different designs, you make two of each. Now, all of my kit classes have a um, video for each card, which is really nice because um, sometimes we just need, I, I know that a lot of people are very visual, right? So it's just nice to have some, some help with that. Okay, let me get out my card stock here. I even brought my um, my calendar along. I made this last year, but I just switched the calendar out to 2022. And I like to put my dimensions on there so it's always in front of me. So I thought when I was packing, I'm like, I need my calendar, right? Yeah, I do. <laughs> of course. Okay, let me move some of this stuff out of the way. We've got Night of Navy for our card base. And then here we go. Okay, let me move that over to the side. We've got Knight of Navy is our card base. This is five and a half by eight and a half. Ooh, Haley said she just got her maternity pictures back. They took pictures with Val and Jared and her and the baby bump. You guys know Haley is due like March 8th. So that's coming up really fast. So we've got a um, Knight of Navy card base. And then we've got a little tiny piece here for our sentiment. And this is three, or I'm sorry, is it half inch? I wrote half inch, but I think that's wrong. Yeah, it's three quarters, three quarters by one and three quarters. Then we've got a basic black layer. This is four by five and a quarter, as well as a white layer for the inside. That's four by five and a quarter. And I've got an envelope here. So we're gonna set that off to the side. Before I forget you guys, this right here is my newest host code. If you place an order in my online store, which you'll find right here, please use this code if your order is under $150. If it's over $150, don't use the code. You're gonna get rewards from Stampin' Up! and I want you to have those. So that's what that's all about. We're gonna be using Versamark Ink and 
a little bit of Night and Navy ink too. So I wanted to show this paper to you guys because it is just so amazing and beautiful and incredible. It's all like kind of scenery. So like you can make this whatever you want, but this is like um, a sunset. And then we've got the ground. And all of this paper, you get <clears throat> four sheets of each design. Isn't this gorgeous? Yeah, absolutely beautiful. There's so many things you can do with this. And of course, I love watercolor. And that's exactly what all of this is, is watercolor. It's actually painted by our concept artists at Stampin' Up. Isn't that so pretty? It's just, oh, so incredibly beautiful. So if you haven't gotten any of this, New Horizons Designer Series paper, you're definitely going to want to add this to your next order because it's it's just a must-have. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab this one. Oh, let me show you the other sides of these because they are really pretty too. They're more random patterns for the most part. Some of them are still, like this is a good scenery one, right? But most of them are just kind of random patterns. And they're beautiful. They're absolutely beautiful. Okay, let me set this aside. Keep this all together so I don't make a big mess here. Oh, before I forget, I'm gonna try to take pictures right here when I get done tonight and get this blog post ready. So you'll always find, um, um, you'll always find still photos and all the dimensions and all the stuff on my blog. And I'll put all the pictures that of the things that we make tonight. But I don't know if I'll be able to get it on there tonight. I might have to wait until it's daylight out because I don't have any of my special lamps here that make my lighting better. So I just want you to know that. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to bring in our paper trimmer and we're going to take this particular pattern and we're going to cut this just a smidge, and I mean just a smidge under four by five and a quarter. And then just a tiny smidge under five and a quarter. So it's just a little, little bit smaller than this black piece, and it's almost so, so little bit. Let me cut just a little bit more off. They don't even notice it. There we go. I just shaved a little tiny piece off. Okay, so this is what we have here. Then we need a little slice for the inside. So I'm gonna do a half inch piece here for the inside. And we can set this aside. All right. My inside, I'm not gonna do a lot with that except decorate it with some designer paper. Oh, I gotta tell you something else funny that happened. Um, Steve loaded up all my stamping stuff in our Explorer the night before we were getting ready to leave early in the morning. Lo and behold, I got here and started um, making the cards from my kit class, the gra this Grassy Grove class. This is, we're using all this stuff that I have a kit class for. And my glue is all clumpy. And I know that the liquid glue does not like to be frozen. So thank goodness when my cardstock arrived, because I had an order shipped here while I was while we were on our way down here, my cardstock arrived because I did add another glue just to get to the next level so I could get celebration stuff. So whew, I don't have to use chunky glue. <laughs> yeah, I've had that happen before. It's a little frustrating, but um, our glue does not like the freezy cold temperatures. And it was 20 below zero when we left, so. Yeah, we're gonna be using Versamark ink here. Rather than bring my big containers, I brought my um, basics embossing powders so I could keep them right here in the little jars. I've got a piece of paper here that I'll use to um, catch my powder. And I'm looking for my stamp. Here it is. We're going to stamp this thank you right on the small piece. How did I do? 
Oh, it looks pretty darn good. Close up your ink pad. Don't ever get your embossing powder out before you close up your ink pad. I know this from experience. It is a mess if you spill your embossing powder on your ink pads. It's just kind of gross. Ooh, that turned out really good, okay? So we've got our thank you with the white embossing powder. And then I'll just pour that back in there. Close this up so we don't have any disasters. And I brought my old, old, old heat tool. Hang on, my glasses are gonna fall on the ground. My old, old heat tool. So we're gonna hit this with the heat tool. And through the magic of TV, I have one right here. So, yay me. <laughs> okay, next we're gonna take our black layer and we're gonna do some die cutting. And here comes this really big die and I am going to place this right on here and we're gonna center it. So you're gonna leave it about like, probably a little more than quarter inch from the bottom. Center this right on here and we're going to run it through our die cutting machine. And when you do that, it's going to look like this, which is very cool. Now, oh, I lost my, oh, there it is. The one thing I wanna tell you is you're gonna get a great big piece right here out of the middle. And let's see. It goes right back in here like this. And out of that piece that comes out of the middle, you can die cut this little deer out of that one. So that's a perfect, perfect piece to get that out of. And again, this is basic black. Isn't that deer cool? I absolutely love that deer. All right, so now we've got this. And where did our, here's our designer paper. I am going to, take the black and put it over the designer paper. You're gonna to wanna to put your glue on the back of the black layer so that it doesn't like get all over the place on your designer paper, right? Cause you don't want it to, you'll know what I mean. <laughs> I don't know how to explain that, but you'll, you'll get that. And here comes, there we go. Oh my gosh, look at how pretty that is. Isn't that just so gorgeous? Next, what we're gonna do is we're going to take our denim ribbon and another funny thing that happened to me. I'm gonna tie this right across here. I'm just gonna tape it onto the back. Another funny thing that happened to me is that I brought my tape dispenser with, and I was using it for the videos I was making yesterday, and lo and behold, I ran out of tape. And I was like, are you kidding me? How does that even happen? So I had to get some more tape, but I got some more. We went to the grocery store and that worked out just fine. So we're gonna take this and we are going to just tie a knot right over here. Now I like to do it this way instead of wrapping it on the front and tying it because when you do that, you have to have a double knot and that gives you a lot of bulk with ribbon. So if you only need a single knot, it just is, is a better idea. All right, I'm gonna find my black, here's my black dimensionals. It was a very interesting packing for all of these. <laughs> Brenda says, did you get some more of the Amish tape? That's funny you say that, Brenda, because um, I mentioned that in my videos yesterday. I'm like, well, at least I'm not using Amish tape. <laughs> and for those of you that may have missed that whole fiasco, um, my mom goes to an Amish store. Hang on, I gotta get a drink. And it's a, it's a, you know, kind of a bent and dent store. And they had tons and tons of tape there. I'm using my black mini dimensionals. And so I bought a whole bunch, like pretty much everything they had, like, I don't know, oh, I messed that up, 10 rolls or something like that. And it was the most hateful tape I've ever used in my life. Like it didn't tear off of the dispenser. 
Um, it was very flimsy, so when you would get a piece, it would wrap around on itself and get stuck. It was just horrible. But by golly, I was going to use all that Amish tape up, and I did. <clears throat> and I complained about it every single time. <laughs> so in case you missed the Amish tape story, you see I just took a little sliver of the dimensional edge right here to put onto that nice long neck on that deer. So I am going to put my deer right in here. Oh, I need to put, <clears throat> I don't like that this ribbon is lifting my deer up. So a good way to fix that is to take a mini glue dot or two, we'll see what we need to do here. And I'm gonna just put it under my ribbon so that, that my ribbon doesn't wiggle around. And I got it kind of sticking out there. I don't want that. Eh. Come on, Kelly. There we go. Okay, I think I got it. So now my ribbon doesn't wiggle around under that deer. So always ways to fix stuff, right? Okay, next what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some I'm gonna use black dimensionals again. When you buy the black dimensionals, you get the minis and the regular size, which is really nice. They call it a combo pack. And I'm gonna put this on here. And I'm trying to be careful not to throw my dimensional backs all over the place. <laughs> you know, this isn't my house. <laughs> yeah. Let's see, is that straight? Yep, oh, that looks a little crooked. Let me pop that. Move that just a little bit. Okay. One thing I noticed about being in Florida, it's very moist here. Like my paper feels a little damp. And of course in Wisconsin, it is drier than the desert. We don't have that until it's summertime. And then I get that. Oh my gosh, you guys, what do you think? Isn't that just pretty? Look at how pretty that is. And of course, I need a lot of thank you cards. So this is right up my alley. Now, what I'm going to do with this Knight of Navy is I am going to take the evergreen stamp. There's a lot of beautiful, I don't even know if I showed this to you. There's a lot of beautiful stamps in here. This is a great set for masculine cards too. So I'm going to take the evergreen trees and my Knight of Navy ink pad and I am going to stamp some trees right on my envelope. So now I have a really nice set to go in the mail. What do you think? Thank you guys so much. It is beautiful, isn't it? So very pretty. Okay, let me... Yeah, there's a lot of neat dies in here. We have a little deer, then we had this bigger deer. We've got this whole scenery. You can cut out um, a die for these trees. We've got a die for these trees. We've got four different sentiments in here. I love this foliage. Um, it's like wildflowers or wildflower weeds. And then of course the deer, you can die cut that. This deer, and then you have two more deer in here and some leaves. Just a really, really nice set. And all the cards that I made for the class are um, very serene, very peaceful, very like lovely. They're just really, really nice. So again, that class, oh, I don't think I told you, that class is uh, $52. And it comes with all the goodies that I shared with you, the pebbles, the um, denim ribbon, the linen thread, and the New Horizons Designer Series paper. You get a whole pack of that, just lots of good stuff in there. I'm gonna wash these before I set them aside. And get that out of the way. Okay, let me get this over here. And then we can start on the next card. Now the next card that I'm gonna be showing you guys is a fun fold. And I have to give you a little um, back information on that. 
we have, I have a team meeting every single month and all of our team meetings have been virtual for the last couple of years, obviously, because of, you know, ugh, COVID, blah. And um, <laughs> who's sick of it? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> like, just add it. Um, our virtual meetings are not really that much different than our in-person meetings were. And the cool part about that is, is that we have demonstrations every month. And I am going to be sharing a card with you made by one of my team members. And her name is Lisa Nyland. I hope, Lisa, I never know if I should say Nyland or Nyland. I don't ever know. But, um... Lisa shared this fun fold with us, and oh my goodness, it is the bomb. And it's called a teepee card, and it looks super scary. Like, I'm not going to lie. It looks like, oh my good Lord. And it's the easiest. It's so easy, you guys. You're going to be just shocked. So we're going to be using the Friendly Hello um, stamp set along with the Friendly Hello Designer Series paper. This is part of our celebration promotion that lasts until the end of the month. And let's go right here. You get the stamp set and the 12 by 12 Designer Series paper free when your order reaches $100. You can choose this as your celebration item. Such beautiful colors, so pretty. This is just such a pretty bundle. So, I decided to use that. I'm also going to be using the tailor-made tags. Now you get, let me see how many are in here. You get 10 different tags or 10 different dies in here. And I've had people ask me, what are these for? Okay, these are so when you die cut your tag, you've got two different kinds of tags here. When you die cut this tag, you can die cut the little, um, the little overlays out of a different color to put on your tag. So you'll have like a blue tag with a white little, I don't know, what do you call those, you guys? A little overlay thing. Yeah. So, um, yeah. And that's what the round ones are. We've got, we've got round holes on our tags, and then we've got uh, like kind of oval holes on our tags. So that's what those are for. I'm not going to be using them on this particular card, but you certainly could. And again, these are the Taylor Made Tags dies. You get 10 different dies in here. Okay, we are going to, first of all, ooh, let me get all my stuff out. Um, I'm gonna be using the Baker's Twine Essential Pack. This is a cool pack of Baker's Twine reinforcements. Thank you guys so much. I just looked and it's like reinforcements. Yay. Is Becky asking about my designer series paper sheets? I see that Cheryl just said she makes them. Um, yeah, this is just a sheet of white cardstock and I typed this and printed out. So this is all blank. These are two by two and then these are one inch circles and I just make these for all of my designer series paper. And I have to, I have to like confess to you that um, Kathy Miller made all of mine for the new mini catalog because she is amazing. <laughs> she does so much for me, you guys. Yeah, I have really, really good help. Um, and she's just fabulous. So she made all of mine. So Baker's Twine Essential Pack, five different colors of Baker's Twine in there. Then we're going to be using Pool Party Ink as well as Memento and Stazon. We'll talk about that a little bit. I brought all of my blends with me and I, when I took them out of my um, holder, I put little hair rubber bands around them. This is the kind that we use in Val's hair to give her the little piggies. And um, I wrapped them all like this so I have my light and my dark together in a bin. So that was like a pretty good idea, <laughs> if I do say so myself. Okay. Then, okay, let's see what's happening here. Oh, and we're going to be using the Iridescent Rhinestone Basic Jewels. These are my favorite new embellishment because they're just so, so pretty. Okay, first things first, Memento Ink. And we're going to be using Memento Ink because we're going to color with the blends. And this is the ink that you need to stamp 
your images with if you're gonna color with alcohol-based markers. You need to use Memento, okay? So I'm gonna set that aside, bring in my blends, and I'm gonna clean this before I forget because we're gonna use that in a pool party too. Oops. All right. Um, oh, we don't need that. I'm gonna take the darker of the pool. This is pool party. I'm gonna take the darker. Oh, Nancy said that's how she stores her blends. There you go. And I'm just going to kind of color near the center and follow those like shading lines that Stampin' Up in their, all their beautiful artistic wisdom makes on these flowers. And that's how I usually color flowers like this, is just to take the darker and go around on the lines that Stampin' Up. Whoops, I got kind of crazy there. And then maybe sometimes I'll go and do a little bit extra near the center of the flower, just like that. I'm gonna leave the center of my flowers white. And, do, do, do. Hang on, let me see if I'm missing something here. Oh, I don't think I am. I said dropped it. Okay, um, then I'm gonna come in with the lighter of the two markers. Oh, I didn't mean to color that all the way. Maybe I can still get away with this. I didn't want to go all the way to the end of my flowers. I wanted to kind of leave it white at the ends, but mm, too late. <laughs> oh, well. We're going to color the whole thing, apparently. That's how this is going to go tonight. <laughs> I do have another card where it isn't colored all the way, and I'll show that to you because my sample that I made, I left it white on the tips of the petals. So you're just gonna do this until it's all blended. Isn't that so pretty? So pretty. Okay, then you guys see my, I got Wink Estella here. Yeah, so let's jazz these up with a little bit of Wink Estella. And you don't have to be real careful about this because guess what we're gonna do to it? <gasps> Guess it, we're cutting it out. I did leave the centers white. Oh, I love the, I hope you guys, let me get a little bit more in there. Hope you guys can see how beautiful that is. It's just so pretty. Okay, and then we are going to cut these out. Now, these are not horrible to cut out. They're pretty easy. I just like to leave a little bit of white around the outside of my images that I cut out. It's just, it seems to work better for me. If you try to cut right on the lines and you happen to go over too far, it's just a complete loss <laughs> in my book. And so I like to just leave a little bit of white around the outside because you can always trim it a little closer if you need to. Okay, whoops, I got a little close there. I think it'll be okay. It isn't anything too bad. But notice how when I cut, I pretty much keep my scissor hand, my right hand, still. And I move my paper with my left hand. That's how I think it's the easiest way to cut stuff out. I know I cut these flowers out before and I colored them and cut them out so you wouldn't have to wait for me to do this, but I don't know where they went. So here we go. So here's our pretty little flowers. And then I'm gonna grab some dimensionals and we're gonna get to the crazy cool part of this card. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to a dimensional right here. It's not quite in the middle of this flower and you'll see why in just a second. So I'm just going to set that aside. Then here comes the cool part. 
I have, did I seriously lose all my pieces? Oh, here they are. Okay. <laughs> like what happened to all my pieces? I am going to take the happy, hope you have the best birthday. I'm gonna use stays on for this. And I'm doing that on purpose because I want this to be very dark and very solid. When you stamp on colored cardstock, it's more porous than white cardstock is. And I get a better image when I use stays on. And so I use stays on for this. And I use Memento for this because you don't want to color with alcohol markers on Stazon. It'll bleed. So there's a reason for the different black inks. It's like, how many black inks do you need? Two. <laughs> you need Stazon and you need Memento. Okay. Then we're going to take this and, oh, we're going to die cut that. I've already die cut it, so now I'm going to stamp it again. I didn't realize I didn't have that done. So we're going to stamp this tag. Yay, I got it straight. Winning. And I die cut it with the tailor-made tags die. Okay, so now I'm going to take some Baker's twine. And I've got two pieces here. And I'll tell you how long they are. These are 13 and a half inches. And I want some really nice tails on this bow. So that's why I'm kind of, I might, I might need to cut some off, but otherwise it'll be fine. So we're going to just tie a bow with two layers of the Baker's twine. This is from that essentials pack. So I have to ask you guys, what is everybody drinking tonight? I actually went to the liquor store last night and got some stuff for some old fashions. I didn't have one yet. <laughs> I'm, I don't know what I'm waiting for. <laughs> and I got olives and I got oranges and oh, old fashions. Okay, isn't that cool? That looks really good. All right, so we're gonna set that over there. Now here comes the really cool part. Oh, let's do our envelope first, I lied. Let's do our envelope and I am just going to grab a scrap of paper and put my envelope flap over that. Here we go, Julie's drinking water. Vicky's drinking water. I am drinking my strawberry lemonade. Mary, water, Cheryl, water. Oh, aren't you guys just all healthy? There we go, Brenda with the diet root beer. Diet Coke. This is Pool Party Ink, and I am just going to Stamp these flowers all over the flap. Oh, I bought some tea too. I like that pure tea, I think it's called. Yeah. Steve needs to make me an old fashioned, Kathy says. I know, right? I agree. I also bought some of those Mike's, you know, like the Mike's Hard Lemonade, but I got the mango flavored. I really like those too. Those are tasty. Okay, so here's our pretty little envelope. Now let's get to the, the juicy part. You guys ready for the juicy part? <laughs> I'm looking forward to the juicy part. I'm gonna bring my trimmer in here. This is a TP card. So what I've done here is I've cut three pieces. This is thick white cardstock. If you're gonna use white, I recommend you use thick for this part. These are cut four by four. And now what we're gonna do and this is Lisa Nyland's card, or Neeland. Lisa, we're gonna have to have a talk so I can get your last name pronunciation correct. And I am going to score tip to tip. So we just scored at a diagonal, and you're gonna do that on all three pieces. All three pieces. And I'm making sure that the tips are in the channel And one more. I made this card for the first time today. Lisa demonstrated it at our team meeting. That's what I was talking about before and I kind of lost my train of thought. 
But um, Lisa demonstrated it at our team meeting and she did it virtually. She was at her house, we were at our house and uh, she made this for us. And I have to tell you, fantastic. But that's one of the great benefits of being on my team is no matter where you live in the whole world, but you can only join my team if you're in the United States, no matter where you live, you can attend the team meetings and see all this cool stuff that I get to see. Cause it's not just me demonstrating, it's other team members. And oh, that's my favorite part of team meetings. Okay, so this is the beautiful Friendly Hello Designer Series paper. Isn't that pretty? I am going to cut this at three and three quarters. Remember, these were four by four. This is three and three quarters by three and three quarters. And we're gonna do, you need two squares, okay? And now we're gonna take each one of these and we are going to cut it at a diagonal. Before we scored the white pieces, now we're gonna cut. So I made this card earlier today for the first time and I was shocked. I mean, I watched Lisa make it in our, vid in our um, team meeting, but you know, when you do it yourself, it's, it, things can go different, right? <laughs> it was so fun and super easy. Now, the other thing that I have here I see I lost one, is you wanna cut a couple squares. These are one and a half by one and a half, and then you're gonna cut them at a diagonal. And I don't know where my other one is, but you only need three pieces and you'll get four, right? So one and a half by one and a half, cut it at a diagonal. You need three of those. Okay, let me set this aside. And now we're gonna come in here and you are going to Use your bone folder to get a good crease on all of these. And again, this is called a teepee card. For those of you that may have come in after the start of this, please make sure you click on that share button and share my video. I so appreciate that. It really helps me out. Click on that like button. Give me a thumbs up. Okay, so now we have all of this going on. Now, the first thing we're gonna do here is we are going to take this and glue it right on here. So see what I'm doing? This folds this way, this folds this way. So we're gonna put this right up to this one and we're gonna glue that on there, just like that, okay? Just the front. So I'm gonna put my finger down right here so I know where to stop with the glue and I'm gonna put it all on here. And now I'm gonna bring this in here and push it all the way up to the top. And then I like to kind of pick it up and fold it over to make sure that I've got it, you know, where it needs to be, okay? So that's what we've got so far. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, just like this, okay? So again, I'm going to know that I have to stop my glue right here. And push this right up to this one. And then again, I like to fold it over to make sure that it, oh, I just got dirt on my, look at that. I got dirt and I don't have my eraser. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, I had some ink on my fingers. Anyways, we're gonna keep going. You know what, we can make that the inside, but nope, we're gonna cover, it'll be fine. So now we're gonna take these pieces. You guys see what happened here, right? That's it. Glue this one here, this one here. And now we're going to take our pieces and oh, I hate that. Let me see if my eraser will erase it. Oh, look at that. Yay. I'm so glad I thought of that. I'm gonna do the rest of this and have it be all icky. Cause that was really kind of gross looking. Okay, that's much better. Okay, now we're gonna, <laughs> now we're gonna take our pieces. We're gonna put a piece right here a piece right here 
and a piece right here. And one of the things you want to be careful of is when you're doing this, you don't wanna use designer paper or you wanna be very careful when you use designer paper that has a pattern that goes a specific way. You know, this is pretty, this is random. Birds are upside down, flowers are upside down, they're right side up, it's a very random. But when you use, let's say, hearts where they're all in a line, you need to pay close attention to how you cut this. So I just would recommend you just use random patterns like this. Have any of you guys ever made one of these cards? This is called a TP card, and I want to hear from you if you've made this before. Because today was the first time I made one, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to stop myself from making a gazillion of them because they're so cool. Oops. Hang on. I just moved my paper. <laughs> they're so cool, and they're so pretty. Like, they're really easy for a fun fold. You can get your paper glued in place, right? There we go. Okay, so that's what we have so far. Now, these little pieces are going to go right here. So we're gonna do one here and one right here. Oops. And then we're gonna take and put one right here, just like that, okay? And Here's what I did. I went and watched Lisa's video from my team meeting today, and I wrote down the dimensions, and I cut all my cardstock and my designer paper, and then I sat down with that video, watched it again as I was assembling my pieces so that I could go like, oh, I know what I'm doing. And first time was a charm, didn't have any problems. Didn't mess anything up. It was just, I was so shocked. Okay, so isn't that cool? You're like, oh, what is that, Kelly? This is left over. I'm not using that. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we need our Velcro. Now, you can use, you can use, um, don't let me forget to show you Lisa's original card because I have one from her that is just amazingly beautiful. But these Velcro dots, they're called Thin Clear Fasteners. You get 56 circles and they're 3 eighths of an inch. They're general purpose, low profile Velcro dots. And you get these at Amazon. I got them on Amazon. Lisa used a um, the tiny little magnets on the one that she sent me. And she said that she bought some of these and liked them better. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to put this together. Did you guys see how easy that was? Ready? Just like that. This is our teepee card. Can you believe it? It is the coolest thing ever. Oh, I absolutely love this. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to put a little piece of Velcro right here. Right in this corner right here. So you've got the soft side and the loopy, the loopy end. And I'm just going to take this little piece and put it face down. These are self-adhesive and they just stick together. And then you're going to peel this off of here. Yep. And I'm going to put this right there. And now I'm going to close my card, just like that. And there's our little Velcro closure. Isn't that cool? This is called a teepee card and it just sits here. Oh, hang on, I gotta put a little more glue right here. I see that a couple of my pieces slid. Make sure you don't let your designer paper slide. There we go. Okay, so here's our cool teepee. Do you guys love this? I think it's so cool. Ah! Oh, Sherry just said that you can get um, these Velcro things at the dollar store, at the Dollar Tree. So that's really cool. 
I know, Diane says, who would have thought? Velcro on cards, right? <gasps> Thank you guys so much. Kathy says, wow, very cool. So there we go. Now we have to decorate this, right? So I'm gonna, what I did is I stood mine up like this to figure out what I was gonna do with it, okay? And um, here's our pieces. And so, now here's the thing. Oh, we, we have to talk about this. This is important. Let's open this back up. How do you mail this, right? How on earth does it lay flat? Cheryl wants to know. That's a great question. Here's how you mail it. Ready? We're gonna fold it and it's gonna go right in our envelope, just like that. It fits right in an envelope. Fold it, fits in an envelope. Now, how are people gonna know what they're supposed to do with this? I really recommend that you put a little post-it note right here, little post-it note that says, this is a TP card. Attach or put the Velcros together to make a little TP and they'll figure it out, I promise. So here's how it goes in the mail and you have to be mindful of that when you start to decorate this, right? So let's take a look at our little label that I made. And I am going to, we have to, we have to know. Okay, so I'm gonna put my label over here on this part right here. So if we put this back, to, oops, put this back together, I'm gonna put my label right here on the side with the Velcro on it. So let me get some glue. And I'm just gonna put it on here like this, waiting for my glue to dry. So this is what we're looking like, okay. And then, remember the flowers? So here's the, here's the thing that I'm looking at. This is what it's gonna look like. It's gonna stick out like that, but when we have to mail it, we fold it in half like this, so you don't want anything to go beyond the edges here. So that's what you have to be mindful of. And now I'm gonna take my flowers and I am going to put them right on here. And now when I put my card together, get my bow out of the way. There we go, look at that. Is that not so cool, you guys? So, so fun. Now, where are you gonna write on this card? Gosh, look how cool it is, who cares? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> You're gonna write on the inside. You can write in here, you could write a little message here. It's completely up to you. Nobody's gonna care what you write. They're gonna look at this card and go, whoa. <laughs> so, before I'm done here, I want to take one of these iridescent rhinestones and I'm going to grab my Take Your Pick tool. I'm gonna to take one of the big ones and I'm gonna put it right here on my tag. And it's just a little bit of bling. We've got that um, Wink of Stella going on right here. Hi, Michelle Davis. Thank you so much. Okay, so I have another one that I have in a different color that I'm gonna make for you. I've got some of the pieces done, so it won't take this long. Are you guys up for that? Are you ready? We can do that? Okay, I gotta wash this. Hang on. Yay, thank you guys so much. It really is, it's just super fun. For this card, I'm going to use the champagne rhinestones and I have all my bits and pieces cut and colored and ready to go here. So I've already stamped my envelope with um, petal pink. I already have my flowers colored and I used um, petal pink blends with Wink of Stella again. I have my little pieces cut. These were my one and a half by one and a half cut at a diagonal. I've got my three and three quarters by three and three quarters cut.
cut at a diagonal. We know that we only need three of those. And I've already got my tag made out of petal pink and I've got my bow tied on there. So all we have to do, oh, and I scored these already. So everything is done. We're just going to put it together. And then we'll have a petal pink one to share with you as well. I just, I thought these were so pretty. And it, it's even better that the stamp set and the designer paper is free before the end of February or while supplies last. So know that they're not guaranteed till the end of the month. If Stampin' Up! runs out of them, they're running out of them. Okay, so again, this is how you do this. This goes on here, this goes on here, and they wrap around the edge of this piece. So I'm going to bring this back in here. I know that my glue needs to stop right here. This would be really kind of cute for place settings too at your Easter table or a party, right? That'd be kind of neat. Okay, and I like to kind of do that, and push it in there, good. So I know that it's all like straight. <laughs> Thank you so much, you guys. I know when I saw this card, well, I got a swap card from Lisa because we do a team swap every month. And, um, when I saw her swap card, I was just like, oh my good Lord, what is this? You guys know I love a fun fold. So that brings me to some other um, important information. When you join my team, oh, hang on, I got a little bit of glue there. Um, when you join my team before the end of February, you get to add two stamp sets of your choice to your starter kit. And you can join to make a business out of this or you can join to be a discount shopper. It's completely up to you. But um, not only do you get two stamp sets of your choice to add to your kit, your kit's only $99. You get to choose $125 in product. And there's no strings attached, no strings whatsoever. You get to be part of my team. You can come to the team meeting that I was talking about where we see all these fun designs. It's just a win-win and you get a discount on all your orders. Okay, so again, this is how this goes. We're gonna put one here. You get a minimum 20% discount on all your future orders. You get to be part of my Facebook group for my team members. I also have a blog. Um, our team meeting every month, I give away a minimum 15 door prizes for those that attend virtually. So no matter where you live in the United States, you can attend the meeting. And what else? It's a lot of fun. We have a, a Make It Monday challenge once a month where one of the team members, one of my team members, Danny, she puts together a little challenge, whether it's a layout, a color challenge, it could be um, a theme like Valentine cards or birthday cards or whatever. And I give away a stamp set and an embellishment once a month to for participation. So you just, everybody goes in a drawing that contributes a card to the challenge. We've got lots of stuff like that on my team. And celebration is the best time to join. Isn't that pretty? Now, I thought what I would do with these is use the other side. Because, like, I don't know. Why not? These are pretty colors together. So we're going to try that. But, yeah, I have a fairly good-sized team. And I've got a lot of my team members on here tonight watching. We have a good time. Like, there's nothing better than being part of something bigger, especially when you have um, just an incredible hobby like stamping, right? And stampers are the nicest people. So we support each other, we lift each other up, and then this one's gonna go, not like that, it's gonna go like this. That's important, okay? So when you're making yours, you just, like I said, follow along with this video and you can see all the little bits and pieces and where these things need to go. And then we're gonna get our Velcro out. But anyways, if you have any questions about joining my team, please don't hesitate to ask me. You can go to my blog, which is right here, astampabove.com. 
in the right hand column, you'll find a, um, a little box that says $99 kit. All the details are in there. The join link is in there. You just go and join. You get to customize your entire kit. You get free shipping. Look at how cute that is. Okay, ready? We're gonna put our little dot right here. And then we're gonna close it. Oh, I got that one a little bit low. I can see it a little bit there, but it, it'll be okay. Okay, and then we're gonna pay attention because we gotta put our label over here so that we can put this in an envelope, okay? So I'm gonna put my label right here. So I'll put some glue right there. And then we're gonna take our flowers. Like I wanted to make so many more of these, you guys, but I, I knew that it's like, okay, I gotta get this done and then I have to do my blog hop for Thursday. Oh, <laughs> you wanna be careful. Oh, I don't think I positioned this very well. Look at that. <laughs> my glue didn't dry yet. Uh, make sure make sure you put it like this so you can see what's going on, okay? Because I knew that my dimensionals that way were going to be sticking over the other side. And you don't want that. So now I'm just going to tuck these down in here. Ah! Oh my God, I love it. Okay, hang on. Because I have champagne rhinestones. These are going to look pretty with the peach color. I can get them open. The DSP, Vicki says, is gorgeous. Thank you, Vicki, it really is. I know, it's very pretty. Okay, and this one, I am going to, oops, I'm gonna need a little bit more glue on here because now it's not sticking very good. I'm just gonna put some of these champagne rhinestones on here. I just love all the stuff that color coordinates that Stampin' Up! gives us. It's just, makes designing cards so much easier and you don't have to think so hard i'm gonna put a little bit more glue under there you guys so it doesn't keep moving around yeah so haley and or haley jared and val did i get any in there no Haley or Jared and Val are coming on Thursday. They're flying down here. Haley can't fly because she's too pregnant, but she did want her baby and husband to be able to come down while we were here. And I booked a manatee and dolphin boat tour for Saturday morning. So I'm super excited to be doing that and seeing my baby and my son-in-law. What do you guys think? Isn't that so pretty? Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm so excited to be seeing both of them. I can't hardly wait. I got a lot of work to do before they come though. <laughs> Cause I got, I don't wanna be working all weekend, right? Look at that. Okay, you guys, here we go. Here's our TP card. We have this online kit class. This is my kit class, the Grassy Grove. You get to make eight cards, pre-cut cardstock pack. You get the designer paper, the ribbon, linen thread, and the pebbles come with that. You can add on the stamp set for $67.50. That includes tax and shipping. You also get priority shipping on this kit and eight envelopes. Fantastic deal. Very cool ideas. And of course, these. I want, I want you guys to share what you're making with this because I think this is going to be incredibly fun. Vicki, I know Erin is going to love making these. Vicki's granddaughter, Erin, is um, a huge stamper and she makes some really pretty cards. Okay, I think that's all I have for you guys tonight. As always, I really appreciate your orders. If you need any stamping supplies or even better, if you want you definitely deserve them. <laughs> Any stamping supplies, please head on over to my blog. At the bottom of each blog post, you'll find a link to my online store. Also in the right-hand column, you'll find a link to my online store. Make sure you click on that thumbs up, that like button, whether you're watching now or later on YouTube or even later on Facebook. Give me a thumbs up and click on that share button. You can share this video right now and that really helps me grow my business. I so appreciate it. 
Here is the um, Velcro 3 8 inch thin clear fasteners. These are self-adhesive. You saw how very, very nice they work on here. For those of you that may have come in late, you're gonna write your message here. You can write your message here. Nobody's gonna care what your message says. They're just gonna think this is the coolest card ever. <laughs> and of course, I'm just kidding. But this would make a great birthday card, change the sentiment, a great get well card, um, a baby card with the, you know, the right colors. Oh, thank you. Thank you for telling me you want to see Lisa's card. Oh, I'm so glad that I saw your message there. <gasps> Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? Look at her card. She's that black and white gingham ribbon. The, um, what was that log cabin set that was in the holiday mini? The black glimmer paper. Isn't that so pretty? This is what I got. This is one of our swaps from our team meeting. So each month with my team meetings, Kathy, my assistant, she um, puts out an, uh, a message on Facebook and says, who would like to join the swap for next month? This is what we're going to be making. And um, she collects all the names and then tells everybody how many to make and reminds them what the theme is and then everybody mails her cards to their cards to Kathy and then Kathy sorts them and then you get a gazillion cards back all different cards and that's again just one of the great benefits of being part of my team is you get to participate in all these fantastic things let me see if I can open this up where's Lisa's here's Lisa's open now um, Lisa used the little magnets okay but she did say that after she saw my Velcro dots, she liked them better. And I know these magnets, I think they can be kind of pricey too. So, whoops, there we go. It works really good. And Lisa doesn't have anything going over the sides of hers. So she didn't have to really pay attention to that. She also, on the cards she made for our team meeting, she put little pieces here, but on this one, she didn't. They're just white, and that looks really cool too, right? So there we go. Lisa, thank you so much for sharing this amazing fun fold. I just, I don't, I just want to make these. I just want to make teepee cards. <laughs> okay, and somebody just said, how do you mail this card? Okay, Mary, um, you're going to take the card. And again, I would probably put a post-it note on it that says, you know, attach... Fold this card up so it looks like a teepee. I'd put that probably right here. This card goes flat just like this, and it goes right in the envelope. It'll fit right in your envelope just like that. Isn't that neat? Yeah. Oops, let me see if I can get it out. There we go. So here's our teepee. Okay. And you just fold it like that. Put it in your envelope. Yay! Love it! So you have to be mindful that your label doesn't stick out this side, right? Because that's not going to fit in an envelope. If you have something sticking out over here, it's not going to fit. So you got to kind of watch that. I almost did that on my first card that I made, but then I didn't. Oh, I said I was going to show you the flowers. So these are the flowers where I didn't color them all the way to the end. And you can decide what you like better. Yeah. So there we go. All right. I don't know what time it is, but, oh, I have, a, I have an Apple Watch. I forget that all the time. I'm like, oh, my phone's up there. I don't know what time it is. It is 9.28 here. And um, I think it is time for me to let you guys go. It has been a pleasure stamping with you from Sarasota, Florida. Yay! Um, Steve's gonna go to, he goes to the gym in the morning. He joined the Planet Fitness, I believe. It's only $10 a month. And he's gonna go to the gym and then he's gonna go to the golf mega store or something here in Sarasota. And then I told him, I wanted to go to Longboat Key today. There was a festival of the arts and I was so, I so wanted to go to that. 
because, um, oh, uh, was it Mary Burkert that told me about that? She messaged me and said, hey, there's a there's an art festival. And I'm like, oh, I want to go to that. Well, they needed my Explorer today to go golfing because it has more room than their car. So they, I was stuck without a vehicle. So that sucked. But um, I, I was I was fine with it. So tomorrow, I told Steve, it's not supposed to be that nice out. Why don't we go down to Siesta Key Beach? There's a whole bunch of little shops down there. And I bet you, you know, there aren't going to be mu many people because there's not going to be a lot of people at the beach if it's not sunny and warm. Might be a perfect day to go check out those little shops, right? That's what I'm figuring. So... Anyways, I might do that. I'll share some pictures on Facebook if I do, because it was a really cute little area with just little beach shops all over the place and a real narrow little street, I think. So that should be cool. Anyway, I'm really going to let you go now. I hope that you guys have a wonderful week. Watch for that blog hop on Thursday. I will be back next Sunday, which is going to be February 13th. And I think I am going to do that, that sliding mechanism card for next week. I got to get that done before Jared and Val get here so that I can just spend all my time with the grandbaby. Yay! I can't hardly wait. Okay, have yourselves a wonderful week, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I so appreciate that you share this crazy inky thing with me. Bye-bye.